Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to subscribe now so you don't miss any content about the exciting world of hockey. Today, we're going to talk about a situation that is making Leafs fans apprehensive. But first, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to receive all the news. Today we're going to discuss Leafs general manager Brad Treliving, who appears to be reliving a nightmare he experienced with Johnny Gaudreau. The reason? Your hesitation to act. Treliving, known for some questionable trades in the past, appears to have made the biggest mistake in allowing Gaudreau to become an unrestricted free agent at the end of last season. A decision that, according to The Athletic, left the Flames empty-handed. Gaudreau, after an incredible 115-point season, was given a chance to stay in Calgary and receive a big payday. However, he chose to move to the Columbus Blue Jackets, leaving Flames fans disappointed. And now, Treliving is in Toronto, where he runs into his agent again, Louis Gross, who also represents William Nylander. For those who aren't up to date on Nylander's contract situation, he is in the final year of his contract. Treliving is facing a sense of deja vu as he knows that if Nylander doesn't sign a contract extension before July 1, 2024, he will become an unrestricted free agent. A situation Leafs fans wouldn't forget so easily given the previous pressure Gaudreau faced. This puts additional pressure on the Leafs to reach a deal before Nylander and Gross can hear offers from other teams. With salary cap restrictions already weighing on the Leafs roster, there is fear that another team could make an offer that the Leafs cannot match, something Treliving has already experienced with Gaudreau. The difference here is that Nylander appears to enjoy playing for the Leafs, unlike Gaudreau, who left Calgary for different reasons. Treliving is also aware of the well-publicized negotiations Gross had with former Leafs GM Kyle Dubas in 2018. Nylander held off on his decision as a restricted free agent until he secured a six-year, $41.4 million extension that ended up being in the team's favor. But this round of negotiations won't be easy, especially considering Nylander's record in 2018, when he sat out the first 26 games of the regular season. So folks, the question is, can true living prevent history from repeating itself, or will the Leafs once again face the anguish of losing a key player? Leave your opinion in the comments and don't forget to like. 